see our level damage. So, oh, I can back it. Man, I'm on the edge of my seat right now. Like, oh, wait, this could be a lot of damage right here. Oh, never mind. I take it back. It's another cool. <laughs> wow. Vortex kick. Vortex kick. Arch is down. That that's game. Oh, wow. wow. That's game. All right, everyone, and welcome back to WBEL Season 2. We're currently in the semifinals, and uh, today we're covering the Blind Division Champion against the Clairvoyant Division Champion. As usual, I'm with the Cheese A. Hey there, Nimura. Hey, hey. Let's jump into the uh, playoffs three. Like I said, we are nearly approaching the end. It's the last steps for those two to join the Grand Finale. Like for the other video, including uh, Ram 9 and Shadow Snatcher, it's going to be at best of three. So uh, best of luck to uh, both players. All right, so first match between Crash Master and Machen. On Crash side, we got Halloween, Lucia, Veles, and Yeshtola is best team. And on Machen's side, we got Raryu, Winter, Victoria, and Ice Olet also is best team. So <laughs> where was it when I wanted to fight him last week? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe his best team, just not his best team versus you. <laughs> <Boo>. <laughs> Anyways, getting into the match. So we have Crash Master, we have the Veles. Uh, starting a champ, probably starting with his haste move. Uh, with the physical shield already being applied onto Halloween Lucia, will help against the Winter Victoria, but not so much against the Howlet. Uh, that is one thing is making sure that the Howlet can get in range and deal his damage because he's going to be able to tear through a lot of these magic uh, damage dealers. These, uh, everyone on Crash Rush is going to be 97 Faith, no magic barrier, so I think the Howlet is going to be able to put in some serious pain if he can get in range to do that. Um, I also saw Howlett applying his physical shield as well, so not going to help him at all either. Uh, very, very magic heavy on this side. The only thing I'm worried about from Mation's side is how much help the other two units can really do with them both being physical. They're both ranged, so they might be able to stay safe while the Howlett gets in range. Oh, I was about to say, I thought she was going to get in range for the first attack right there, but... Unit res up, which is going to help against the Howlett and Lucia's follow-ups, but it's being applied to the Ryryu instead of the Howlett. I think I would have rather preferred to see it on the Howlet, but maybe he's uh, going to be tanky enough without it. Is it Yishtola the second might cast? might be in range. Yeah, I, she, she might be in range to be able to deal damage. And with her having the elemental advantage, she might actually be able to do some serious damage here. Uh, I mean, she has a long charge time, so she's going to go up to the right with you. But, oh, the first hit comes so then, Oh, oh no. my god! Oh, okay. Wow. So Alan Lucia killing both uh, backline unit. Uh, it hurts. Um, all right. So let's see for the Alet. He better be one shotting some units too. Thinking hard about it. He says to that least on his side. I think he thinks he's Velis. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> we have his LB killing the Yeshtola, oh. only doing about half elf on uh, Alun Lucia. So not enough. It will have a Velis healing back the Alun Lucia. And uh, yes, I think that it's going to be rough, unfortunately, for Machen. I do too, because uh, I know she has the shell applied, which isn't something that's going to go away until enough turns have passed. So I don't see the damage really increasing too much from Machen's side. But uh, he might have just done that big LB. <laughs> like okay, this? never mind. I was about to say, about to say <laughs> just to hit both of them, and maybe the single target will deal a lot more. And it definitely did. So uh, if Velas doesn't heal her back up to full, and if this is a one shot, it oh, doesn't right. one Okay, it does one shot. <laughs> wow. Uh, that was one uh, strange uh, fight. <laughs> it was a very explosive fight, I'll say that much. It was tie damage numbers back and forth. Honestly, um, if the backline units weren't dead so soon, I think that it was actually Machen's game. I mean, the Yellow and the Shell only survived with a uh, very few HP, so on some chip damage would have killed Ern and Velis doesn't have any raise on his kit, so he would have been stuck maybe in, in a loop and it would have been on the uh, Machen side. But uh, unfortunately, I think there was some positional uh, weakness on Machen side, and the range on uh, Alun Lucia was too much, and he exploded it. Yep, I think this covers pretty much everything. I think the only thing is, uh, I'm not entirely sure if Winter Victoria or you have barrier breaks? I think Winter Victoria might. Yes, um, she does. Okay, so that's the main thing. She still did have her 7,500 health physical barrier. So even if they were able to get some chip damage, they definitely needed a barrier break there too. So specifically, yeah. the barrier breakers True. needed to survive that onslaught. But 
yeah, I agree that her being able to take out both of them with one attack in the very beginning was definitely the key of the match. And uh, I think if the positioning was a little different, I, I definitely would give the edge to Nation there. All right. So let's see the adjustment on both sides. Yeah, excited to see it. All right, so second match between Crash Master and Machen. So on Crash side, we got the same team, and on Machen side, the same thing. So let's see the adjustment. I mean, seems I like think... they're starting at the same place for Crash. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I think Crash Master won that match and felt pretty confident about it. Um, even. The starting buff rotation, it looks like the haste coming out from the Velas, the same same movement and everything coming out from Crash Master. It looks like he's just running it straight back. Uh, though on Mation's side, I think he probably agrees with our ending commentary that it was probably in his favor with some positional changes. I see some positional changes over there on Mation's side. They are kind of going more towards the center still. So I'm hoping that they don't group up for a big AoE here again. But, yeah, uh, not looking good. <laughs> no, but in freeze. Oh, nice attack okay, up so on the wrong unit. Yeah, that's unfortunate. So I, I'm sure that he wanted that on the Howl. But still, at least it's nice that it makes it so that he still grouped up to use another buff and didn't go running straight ahead. And hoping the same for the Winter Victoria. Otherwise, I'm not sure if she's in range to hit. She you know she's probably still on range. Okay, no, she has a, a she still has the same buff from last time around yep. uh, for the unit res up uses it on the Ryu, but that's good because that keeps her back as well. So the Howlet should be able to run forward. Hopefully he has another buff still up in his kit because I'm sure he's not in range yet either. Um, okay, so momentum getting the haste online. So that's yeah, that's exactly what Mason wants to see. I want him to see him go a little bit further up because yeah, now the Ryu is going to be. Oh, okay, he gets okay. used in freeze on the Howlet Oh, well. no, don't but, move. <laughs> but, yeah, but he's now up in the range, which is unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> so the tank expected. is dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did his job in tanking. And the Winter Victoria being alive to break the barrier still is, is nice. So she can still contribute some damage to the, uh, the Halloween Lucia. So right, let's see so if that's going to be the difference maker. Yes, now we have Arlet going forward with additional ice damage, calculating really hard. Uh, at least this time, the uh, yeah, Winter Victoria survived. Okay, so exactly the same thing at, as last time. Winter yep. Victoria will be able to go next. Uh, let's see if it's going to make the difference with the barrier break. Uh, otherwise, the last time we were wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, she wasn't in range for the barrier break, so she's uh, only applying the blind. At least it lands. Which still could be good. Yeah. Yes, but I don't see any uh, luck build on Mason's side. She might be able to hit anyway. Uh, also, she has a guaranteed hit move. Toad Curse, uh, this is the one. And ah, oh, Toad! Oh my god! No. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I think that otherwise Mason would have won this. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure, I but let's see. <laughs> And now yeah, it's... I think that he would have been able to kill her on this, but no. There's still the chance, because she might have to use Toad's Curse again to hit, and might turn him back to normal. I mean, I'm just... <laughs> there's the chance. There's a chance. Nope. Oh, no, she's the going to LB. Nope. Okay. <laughs> but also, um, this time... Uh, yeah, you see? <laughs> uh, and also, this time, there was uh, the shell that had been applied by Velis on uh, Lucia, so maybe... He wouldn't have been able this time to uh, finish her off. All right, so let's check that out. Now we have a uh, Winter Victoria again. Oh man, Machen didn't see <laughs> that Toad <talk> coming. <laughs> yeah. Is it only 25% uh, chance? I think, yes. I'm not entirely sure. I thought it was higher, but maybe it is only 25%. It's been a while since I fought Halloween Lucia, personally. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I don't see uh, any way to victory for Machen. So we'll have a grand finale between two all members. So we'll have a Crash Master against Ram 9 in the grand finale next week. Yep, that's what it sure looks like. Wow. This team yeah. still showing the dominance. <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately for Machen, I think the key of the match was the uh, Toad. Uh, otherwise, with the number of turns that we had and the, the blind on Halloween Lucia, I think that it was Machen's game, but uh, <laughs> that unexpected Toad, man. It, it oh yeah, him. it was 
I mean, it was definitely a Mason's game, in my in my opinion, because uh, not only did he have the blind on the Holly and Lucia, but also the limit burst that Hallett used uh, took away her haste, so he would have had more turns than Holly and Lucia, and Velus would have been stuck in healing mode, so Velus wouldn't have contributed to the damage. So I, yeah, I really do think that, unfortunately, without the Toad, it would have been Mation's match. I think that he, he made the right call in terms of sticking with the same team, but just going with the positional adjustment. But yeah, the Toad really sealed it for him, I'd say. So the uh, fairy tale ends there for uh, Mation. Unfortunately, he wasn't uh, able to do a full comeback and uh, win it all. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, but just like uh, you know, we said last video, this is absolutely no shame to you know you're the winner of the blind division being the champion of your own division is already a big enough victory you know it's unfortunate that you know the run ended here but uh you definitely made it a long way to make it where you are now it's been a pleasure getting to watch especially the fact that you did that with a themed team as well it, it makes it even better <laughs> so honestly it was a bit of a doubter didn't have a whole lot of hope in the theme team but you proved me wrong and piloted it incredibly well to make it this far so uh hats off to you and absolutely fun matches yeah so beating a seed number one and seed number two in the uh, blind division so uh, yeah that too, uh, yeah. That was insane. a nice run. For Crashmaster's side, man, I hope for Ram9 that he has a solution for that team because once again, Crashmaster uses his best team and damn, that, that team, it's something. Yeah, absolutely great team. I'm, I'm ex excited to watch these two Titans battle it out. On paper, I would not have expected this team to do as well as it has done, but man, you have shown me wrong. Like, this team is absolutely powerful and i'm excited to watch you i mean maybe you won't bring it out against ram 9 but if you do i'm excited to see uh, what ram 9 has to deal with it now the question is who gb79 is going to muck with <laughs> <laughs> okay i can't wait for uh, next week and i think that the hall community must be uh, really uh, proud of them as they should be yeah i really can't wait to see that clash between those two giants same here i'm excited for it all right thank you everyone for watching it was uh, really nice to have you if you like the video uh, as usual uh, please uh, don't hesitate to um, leave a comment and uh, for those who are interested in uh, future uh, tournaments uh, please sign in in the survey in the description any last word cheesy nope just as always, thanks for the fun matches. Always glad to watch and shoutcast over them and excited to see you guys for the grand finale of the whole WBEL tournament. Yes, it's going to be a best of five. The winner needs a three wins, so it's going to be a marathon. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> plenty of uh, fun matches to watch. And also, we must point it out that this playoff was five rounds. It's been a marathon in itself, and now we have a best of five in grand finale. So the guy who wins it, man, that he deserves it. <laughs> and oh, against for sure. all those giants, really great player that subscribed in this tournament. Yeah, the winner of this tournament should definitely wear that badge proudly because uh, it's been a long journey from beginning to end, not only within their own division, but now you're fighting the champions of other divisions. It's, yeah, it's a hard fight, and it, it can't be underestimated. <laughs> All right, uh, see you soon, guys. All right, see you soon.